The boat is 92 miles to the uh, west-southwest of Kodiak. It's on the other side of the Shelikov Strait near the Katmai Peninsula. Initial reports said that he was in the water for uh, between 10 and 15 minutes and underwater for a period of time. The crew members of the Stella were able to get their crew member back on board, and at the time they elected to conduct CPR and were able to get him breathing again. First thing that goes to my mind is time. Time is of the essence, you know, with uh, especially hypothermia and things like that. After we got more amplifying information, found out that he had been unconscious at a certain point, that he was extremely cold still, that the crew had stripped him down. We realized that he was non-ambulatory, that we were definitely going to have to do a litter hoist. So we really had to talk about the plan of attack on how we were going to get the swimmer on board the safest way possible. Litter's over the side. Litter's on the boat, waiting for him to disconnect. I disconnect and then uh, make my way inside and that's uh, when I first saw the survivor. And my first impression when I saw him was I wasn't sure which way this was gonna go. He looked pretty bad. He was pretty gray, gray-blue basically at that point. He could say his name, but he really wasn't moving much past that. 